Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Cold Waters, episode 83 I think it is, I'm not sure. And welcome to Dot Mod. After we got wiped out last week, I've decided to put Epic Mod aside for a while, as much as I love it. And we're going to go on with Dot Mod. Now Dot Mod is harder, and if you play as the British, it's extremely difficult because it's got two torpedoes. It's got the Tigerfish and it's got another one, I can't remember the name of it which is not guided. So it's basically like a World War II torpedo. And the Tigerfish Seeker Head has only got a Seeker range of 485 yards. And it's very narrow, which makes it really, really difficult. So we're not gonna be playing that because that means that recordings would be like two hours long and I'm not doing that. So as for options, what's changed? We've got different changes here. We're gonna go auto step, auto step. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna disable the player marker for cinematic purposes. Uh, audio, music's disabled, uh, mod settings, dynamic depth darkening, uh, we will do that. Um, surface combat spawn distances increased by, no I'm not doing that, <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> and add-ons, we've got no add-ons. And we just want to check the difficulty, and we're going to make the difficulty up to elite and find out just how hard this is. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do the 1984 campaign, and which is what we've got. But so we're not gonna go, I'm not gonna go read the, the briefing for it because it's the same, it hasn't changed. So we're changing that to Commander YouTube. <laughs> now with submarines, uh, we're pretty limited. We've got the skipjack, one wire, 700 foot test depth, 24 knots, you know, 30 knots, 24 tubes, sorry, 24 um, stores. We've got the permit class, which is 28 knots, 1320 feet, 23 stores, two wires, a sturgeon, you can see there. And um, we've got the narwhal, two wires. And we've got the Los Angeles class, we've got four wires, 115 knots. Uh, 1200 depths, so that's, that's not as good. And um, we've got the Trafalgar, which we're not going to use. The nice thing about the Trafalgar, it's got three wires. We're not going to use We're going to go with the Los Angeles, we're going to go with the 688. Now, the nice thing with this is we are given uh, patrol areas now. So we're going to be given a patrol area that we're going to have to troll in. So this is the USS Philadelphia SN 690. Except, we're going to skip through this. Okay, we've got tactical situation. Red Banner Fleet submarines are massing for a big push into the North Atlantic. These vessels must be stopped before they have a chance to interdict Allied shipping. Transit to patrol area Green 311 in the Denmark Strait and sink all hostile forces. Okay, warning yellow weapons. Warning yellow weapons free on designated targets. Okay. We've got a briefing. We've got no T lambs. I'm going to drop two of these. Because we're after submarines. I'm going to take two more of these. I'll take one more of those. Let's drop another one. Because man, oh man, do you need these things. We've got 16 torpedoes. Cast off. We are heading for 311, which is over here. So that's our patrol area. Uh, and this is very realistic. This is what you are assigned in real life. Although in real life, these patrol areas tend to be butted up against each other and overlapping at times. So we are free to, to leave our patrol area, but since we've been assigned it, we're going to stay in it. Kill anybody who comes in <laughs> into our patch. Awful lot of submarines living. Oh, 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 damn it. I think I'm, I'm going to get counter detected. Uh, we're going to go 20,000 yards. Status report. That's fine. Bearing 3901, weak duck, weak thermal layer. Power stations. Actually, I was going to go close to. Con sonar lost rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay. What have we got? We lost contact with 39. 
Con sonar new contact bearing one zero one designated Sierra one. Let's get a hundred feet. Con sonar new contact me depth one zero zero feet die by. New contacts submarines. And we're gonna skip through these. This is first one's probably a merchant. It looks like a merchant. It's a whale. Con sonar Sierra one is classified two is a whale. as biologic. There are three. Con sonar new contact bearing zero three nine designated Sierra three. Zero three is probably a submarine. Uh, it could be a whiskey, but this line's out. Looks like a tango. Con sonar, a tango. Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. There's a little tango in this game. 15 knots. 985 feet. He's got 71 M's. Which has got a seeker range of 1450, 40 knots. He's got use at 80s. Seeker range of 1640, and he's got 655s. Seeker range of 2600. He's got a nice little loadout. Okay, where it is? We are heading straight forward, so we're going to watch him for a while. Come right to and four, one, I. try to look for any bearing drift, which will help us in our TMA. Pack up motion analysis. And um, if we don't get any sonar new contact bearing zero three three designated Sierra four. You have four. Con helm steady course. Thank you. Another while. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's a merchant. Let's go back to our tango. And he is right on the duct. Um, I have deployed the white total ray. Today on, assuming we survive, from today on we'll go back to having the cinematic uh, intro. It's just with a new mission, a new campaign, and, and a new mod. I thought it was important to just do an intro for it. So I'm toying with the idea of making my own mod around my own crew sounds. I'm really sort of playing with that idea. Good, thank you. Sitting just above the layer. He's at 154 feet. Thank you. And we're going to get a solution on this guy. And we're not having much luck with that. Let's drop down a bit. Down to 150 feet where he is. Try to improve our, um, our values. I see 130 feet. A little bit more than one submarine here. We look like two that joined us on the map. I'm trying to see an improvement. We didn't improve in active range, we didn't get an improvement on total or not. Have we got the toad deployed? We do. Not picking up at all on the toad. So, and he's not be getting bearing drift either. So, we're going to go. What is his bearing? He is 0328. Come left 
Two, three, two, eight. Helm, so we're gonna go th go left three two eight and try to actually improve our, our um, ability to detect him by doing a uh, a bearing change. You don't want him coming. You don't want want it where he's got no bearing change because that means he's coming straight at you. So you're coming for a collision. You don't want that. It also makes it harder for the TMA apparently. The surface conditions like yeah, a bit noisy. Oh, it's not that bad. 83. He's just picking up. We are getting a better solution now. Yeah, see the total rate is working now. So the tater ray doesn't... Con sonar, Sierra 4 Ooh. is cavitating. He's cavitating. That's good, that's going to make it easier for us. So, it, it shows that the um, tater ray can't hear anything if it's behind the ship. And the target's in front. Hey, he's picking us up. He's going bingy, bingy, bingy. We might as well get us all the solution out of him because he, he knows we're here. There you go. Go get him. Let's sink out. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra 3. Why are you trying to do that? No, I'm not doing that. The one thing I found out is that the, the moss. Two, two, nine, ah, nine, man, nine. the moss is they're tough. Passing two hundred feet. Because the moss work against you by your own torpedoes will pick them up from a long way out. Our enemy torpedoes will pick them up from a long way out. We're going back Come this way. Two, one, three, seven, helm, I and reload. And we're going down deep. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. Oh shit, no, don't no, stop to that. Stop. Make turns for con sonar. No longer cavitating. Making turns for five knots. What? Okay, so we, we broke the total ray. Let's Make go deep. Turns for three. Con sonar. We are we cavitating. Him up. Oh, listen, we picked him up. Let's take out and care about cavitating. He's locked onto me, I've locked onto him. Three, seven, helm, I. We're gonna fire this. Sonar, no longer cavitating. That way. Go this way. Come. Make turns for three, three. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Just go deep. Mom, go. Come left to one three one helm I. We lost power or something. These acceleration is slow. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four con sonar no longer cavitating. But the torpedo's locked on, so we might con actually kill him in one shot. Maker bearing zero. Should be two, a first. Six. Twenty four knots. Boy, this slows accelerates slowly. Con torpedo room. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing zero two four. Con helm steady course. Yeah, we have target. Con sonar Ooh. lost contact Sierra. Last bearing zero two. Zero. Contact breaking up. Oh, that's the end of it. Now we're just going to evade all these torpedoes. Come left to one, two, four. Helm, I. 
Con, Helm, steady course. We will add another decoy just in case. And then we'll speed up time. We're going to give a chance to do another video here. Um, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. 16 minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, that's not nice. Come left to zero seven four. Helm I. Perpendicular to it. Ooh, that's not nice. Come right to zero eight three. Helm I. Fuck it, let's go this way. Come left to zero three five. Helm I. Oh, that was lucky. We don't have a contact on that. We lost our wire, haven't we? Damn it. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two six five. Contact is in the battle. Okay, I should do it. And go. Return to mission objective immediate. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And stop. Oh. We've gone straight into another one. Okay, we're going to do another one. So we're going to leave this load out. Strong duck, moderate thermal layer, 235 feet. But it's close to 20,000 yards. On sonar, rig ship for ultra quiet. Let's take it up to... Make depth two zero zero feet, die by. What was the, um... Bearing. You're one faded. Hmm. Didn't notice the bearing to it. Con sonar new contact bearing one one nine designated Sierra one. Sierra one looks like a whale. Let's check if it's a whale. It's a whale. Con sonar Sierra one is classified as biologic. That wow, Ooh so damn it. I'm on oh, motor ray has been damaged. Yeah, damn it. I was hoping that one would work. Let's change our come left course. to zero eight six helm. I And we're actually going to go up into around 100 feet, just to sort of make depth one zero zero feet die by. We got a pretty good duck, and he might be in the ducks. Con sonar new contact bearing Beautiful. one zero zero designated Sierra two. Ooh, it's a kilo. No, it's not. This lines out. Juliet. Looks like it's a kilo. Sonar, Sierra two is classified as. Looks like this line is yeah. Con Helm, steady course. Oh, that's a humpback. Con Sonar, Sierra three is classified oh, wow. as biologic. Let's go back to the tango. Now, how far out is he so far? 6,000 yards. I'm talking close. And what depth is he at? He's right where we are. We are going to drop down below the layer. You get 300 feet. Make depth three zero zero feet. Die by. He's just Con not active. Sonar, Sierra three is cavitating. Yeah, he's picked us up. Now we've got a good solution. Bad so, battle station. Yeah, there you go. Sierra two. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra two. Con sonar launch transient from yep. Sierra two. You do that too, you know. Hi, sir. And you that way. Just in case you turn around, I'll turn another one over there. Shoot two four. Hi, sir. 
just in case you go up there. I'm gonna get you one way or the other. We're going down. Reload that, reload that, reload that. You have that. Go down one, two. You're going this way. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Three, four, that's a four. She never not going to get this way. Come right to one, six, two. Helm, I. He's shooting to the north, so we're going to go south. One of these will miss. Contact. Sierra, one. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. One of these will miss, and yeah, one's got him. Oh, it takes a long time to accelerate on the dot mod. Fortunately, one of the, this torpedo is already locked onto him, so he can do what he likes. He, that torpedo is going after him. And the question is, what about his torpedo? Now he's turning. Now he's turning away. That's going to force the other torpedo to lock on him as well. And the bottom one is also locked onto him. So, <laughs> so he's looking pretty screwed. Now we are... Into 200 yards out. I'd like to get more than that. I want to get at least 3,000 yards from that launch point. Because I reckon these will probably pick this up. I don't know what he's firing. I mean, he, he could be firing his set 65s. Uh, he could. Oh, damn it. Tango. These are well, 1450. 1600. 2600. Yeah, that's why I want to get 3,000 yards from this launch point. And then I'm going to slow down. What I was saying about the MOS is I was playing the mission before when I was testing this and uh, yesterday over the course of the battle I fired off four MOS. In the whole battle area which took place within 10,000 yards all the torpedoes were locking onto the MOS. His torpedoes, my torpedoes and it became really, really difficult to actually get a to get a kill. And in the end, I could only kill one of the torpedo, one of the submarines, uh, because I ran out of weapons. So we are three thousand yards out now. I mean, yeah. There you go. Rig ship for I'm going quiet. I'm going quiet. Come left to one, two, five. Helm I. Increase our respect to him. Oh, look at that! Come oh, right what? Make turns for three, three. Oh, wait a minute. Just make turns. Fire that. One, Go south. Five knots. Maneuvering eye. Come. Make oh. turns for oh. three, three knots. Maneuvering eye. No, they got him. They killed him. And we've got to avoid his torpedoes. <laughs> so if you're playing if you're new to this game and you're you, you'd like to and you're thinking about playing mods uh let me suggest uh, if you don't have the game go and buy the game of steady course steam or wherever it is you want to buy it from and play the default game and learn how to how to beat the game and the way you fight a submarine is to use depth. On. Torpedo room, tube four ready. Just to use depth to evade your enemy. Okay, we're going this way. Come right to zero one. And uh, nine, once you can su successfully complete a, uh, a campaign, then you might want to use a mod. And uh, and then there's lots of places. Really, just Google them, and you'll find out. Or you can click the link in the description, and there'll there'll be a link to. To this mod in the description. Con helm, steady course. 
Uh, you will need to clean this door though. And you're going to lose your save games too. Uh, unless of course you... Well, yeah, you're going to lose your save games. You, if you're changing mods, you're going to lose your save games. That's just a given. Okay, I think we evaded that torpedo. And... I don't know what depth he's at. Oh, he's got him. Yeah, he's chasing him. Wait a minute. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of here. ASAP. And, uh, and then I'll bring you back. That's it, we're out. Hey, Tango sunk. 3,800 tons. This was not your target. Well, I'm in my uh, target area. Uh, this is our current situation where we are. So, we'll see how things go as, we, as the game goes on. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see how things work out with the dot mod. And uh, so, there you go. You have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Here bye. comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom. Ow, 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 ow. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Boom, 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 boom.